What's up everyone, Leopold the Brave here to discuss E3 and what my thoughts were on what was shown. So I'll start off from the worst and then work my way up to the best. Worst, Square Enix. Ho, 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 ho. <gasps> that was bad. First of all, we got trailers that we had already seen at the Sony conference. Then there was talking, talking, talking. Talking, some Kingdom Hearts mobile game that no one wanted, or even cared about. And then we got a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, which honestly didn't show that much. It was a bit of gameplay and then more talking and plot stuff that I don't really get or care about. And I'm pretty sure no one else does either. They just want to see when the game's coming out, which they didn't reveal that either. They just said now in development, which is pretty much what they said last year. So Kingdom Hearts 3 could take like a whole another year and a half to come out, since we don't even have a release window yet. I mean, at least for Smash Bros when it was first announced, it said it was coming 2014, which it did. Ugh, <sighs> Square Enix. All they had was remakes, trailers they had already shown in Sony's conference, and then Kingdom Hearts 3. It was just pathetic. EA and Ubisoft, man, not much to talk about there. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Assassin's Creed junk, and of course the sports stuff for EA. It was exactly what you'd expect, and it was really boring, but not as bad as Square Enix, because you expected so much for them, and they just let you down so terribly. Ah, uh, next, Nintendo. I was expecting Nintendo to do great this year, because they have Zelda Wii U coming out, which they didn't show at all. Instead, they showed Hyrule Warriors 3DS, and they showed uh, Triforce Heroes, which is also coming to the 3DS. Uh, they, but they, the one big thing that they did show was Star Fox for Wii U, which I am pumped to see. But the other thing they did was shove Mario Maker down your throat. That was half. That was like half their presentation. Oh, play Mario Maker desu. It's sugoi kuai. Play the Mario Maker moshi moshi desu. That's pretty much what half the digital event was, and it was so boring, because honestly, who cares about Mario Maker? I mean, it will be fun, don't get me wrong, I, I am a bit excited for Mario Maker, but I don't need it shoved down my throat if I'm already excited for it. That just kind of kills the hype. I mean, how would you like it if Sakurai like, revealed every last detail of Smash Brothers uh, in the E3 of 2014 before... It came out. How would you feel, huh? Because, first of all, most of it would be ruined. It, the, most of the surprises would be ruined. And you'd be sick of hearing it, and you'd want to kind of see other stuff, too. Next, Microsoft. Microsoft actually did better than Nintendo this year. The Tomb Raider game looks intense, which I am actually pretty pumped for. I, I, I love Tomb Raider. And, um... <clears throat> There was also a Rare collection. It was kind of sad though because I was hoping for another Banjo game. It was just like so dramatic build up and then it's just a collection. But it has over 30 games so that's actually pretty impressive. And then this one really cool thing they showed. This like holographic VR Minecraft thing. It was really cool looking even though you'll look like a fool. Because no one else will be able to see what you're doing, and only the person through the glasses gets to see what's going on. But it was still pretty, it was really cool. I, I didn't think such a thing could actually exist, but it does. So congrats to them on making something like that. So that was impressive. Now the big one, number one winner of E3, Sony wins E3! Sony, what they showed was intense. I, I could not stop giggling the entire time. For, they started off strong with The Last Guardian, a game that's been worked on for years by the same creators of Shadow of the Colossus, which you may know as one of my favorite games ever, if you've been a long time fan of my channel, because I haven't talked about it in a while. And I talked about it at the very beginning of my channel, but, um... Yeah, if you've been around that long, then you know that I love Shadow of the Colossus to death. And we got to see The Last Guardian gameplay, and it was really cool. The game I am most hyped for, though, that they showed off, No Man's Sky. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of objective or plot or anything. You just sort of explore around, but the way 
it just looks so interesting and fun. It's going to be impossible to see everything there is to see before you die. But it's going to be a blast. So basically, you're in a rocket ship and you can explore planets. But then you can zoom out and go to other solar systems. And it just keep there's just so many solar systems. It's basically a universe-sized game. They created a universe-sized game. I am dying. I am literally dying right now. What else did they show? They showed a Destiny-related thing. I don't really care about Destiny. They showed Black Ops and more Uncharted 4. Woo! Naughty Dog. I was desperately hoping for some Crash Bandicoot, and they didn't show that, unfortunately. So that was that was the only disappointment for Sony's conference. It was no Crash Bandicoot. Come on, Sony. We all love Crash. Bring him back. But yeah, those are my thoughts of E3. Nintendo was seriously disappointing this year. So was Square Enix. I expected so much more from them. Microsoft did alright. Ubisoft and EA, who cares? But Sony did outstanding. I mean, it was incredible. So good job, Sony. In my opinion, you have won E3.